I did it with my purse. I'm a lady, okay? And we're back. I promised you guys this was going to be the biggest, best season of Iconic Eats, and we're already starting big on the biggest cruise ship in the world. There is eight neighborhoods, seven pools, six water slides. This ship is ginormous. I wish that I could try everything, but I can't. So I picked out the best of the best. We're gonna go to each neighborhood and try one, maybe two items from each so that I can show you the most iconic items on Icon of the Seas for Iconic Eats. We're gonna have milkshakes, mac and cheese, crepes, cocktails, more cocktails. You know I gotta have another cocktail after that. And maybe some kid-friendly concoctions as well. Cause you know, this is a family show. Not really. This is Iconic Eats. our first stop this is their j club it's very exclusive it is adult only um and this is the world's first suspended infinity pool i looked at it when we were walking past and i'm like i have to get inside so as soon as i get done with this i'm put on my swimsuit and you know where you can find me this is the bloom and botanical it is gin elderflower rose blueberry and it has a mint rim eating a little mint while I drink my drink. So we have our gin, so we have like those really herby flavors, and then like elderflower always accents anything that's like herby, because it's like floral and like almost um, like a sweet floral flavor. And then you have your rosé, which brings out more of that sweetness. And then the mint rim, oh, it just makes the drink smell so delicious. And it like makes you feel good about like being out in the middle of the ocean, I'm ready to go and start my vacation. I can see myself in the infinity pool holding one of these with no worries, not a care in the world, just letting the sea wash away all of my thoughts. Hmm. We were just up there down here at Surfside. This is our second neighborhood. This is going to be your fun, kid-friendly area. It's so colorful. So we're going to go to a really cool mommy and me bar type concept. It's the Lemon Post. They have drinks for the kitties, drinks for the adults. Let's go. A bit of a detour. There's free ice cream and I can't say no. So all day long at Sprinkles, there is free ice cream. It's included in your vacation. Free ice cream all day long. Let's get some. Thank you. Because what person says no to free ice cream? <laughs> so we're at the Lemon Post, which is a brand new concept here on Royal Caribbean. It is sort of like a mommy and me bar. So one side of the bar is for regular drinks. And then this side of the bar is completely non-alcoholic. So in the menu, they have non-alcoholic drinks that are meant for adults and then they have non-alcoholic drinks that are meant for children and so i'm gonna try one of the kitty drinks the pink mermaid oh thank you it's so cute okay so this is the pink mermaid it is dragon fruit gummies and lemonade it is five additional dollars again this is a kid's one so like the ingredients are like pretty simple, which is like lemonade, dragon fruit, um, gummies, where like the adult non-alcoholic beverages have like orjo or a butterfly PT in it. Like things that are just a little bit more sophisticated, maybe a little bit too um, strong for like a kitty palate. I would be on a sugar rush. This is $5 of pure syrup just like go-go juice. I could get, drink this whole thing and then run around this whole like water park play place five times without getting tired. Like you want to know how children have so much energy? This one. 
Ah. Okay. Thank you. I'm trying. It's really high. This is higher than I want to be. This is so fun. There's a whole store of stuffed animals. Can I get something? No. I want a toy. I don't think this was meant for adults. It's just like. I've never seen that happen before. How does that even happen? <laughs> Disaster this drug, but we figured it out. This is the Stranded Burrow Caramel Ice Cream Dolce de Leche. It is covered in cinnamon toast crunch cereal pieces, topped with a whole pinata, two donuts, two lightsabers, and I made it boozy. Good lord. Oh, and the straw edible. Give me the straw. <laughs> oh, she's afraid. She's afraid. Just stick it. Yeah, right there. Mm. They don't put the alcohol in it for you. You got to do it yourself. So I'm going to drink a little and then I'm going to pull a little. And maybe I drink a little then shoot a little. Out. It's a party. It doesn't matter. Uh -uh. Before you do anything else, can we talk about how your pinata, your dress, and the slides all match? And your eyeshadow? You guys, I get really nervous because you're like, you're always on theme, you're always on theme. And I'm like, how am I going to theme an outfit to a cruise ship? I did it! I did it! It's not included in your normal cruising price. It is an extra $18, but then you can add a shot to it for five. So all together, I got a $23 milkshake. And you know what? I'm on vacation. I deserve it. Treat yourself. Don't change the lunch. I just taste like, like that burnt sugar flavor very similar to like a cereal milk it's just sweet and caramely i think i have enough to like float my okay so then it's fire whiskey which of course is cinnamon flavored which is gonna go great with anything that's like churro oh oh we already have a crime scene this is a cursed milkshake <laughs> i just like drank a half a shot this alcohol 110% does not mix into the shake. Do I care? No. Is it another way to put booze in your body? Yes. Let's be real about life. If you're getting an alcoholic milkshake, you just want more alcohol in your body. So I like the way they did this. <laughs> waffle chicken nuggets we have waffle chicken nuggets and nothing could have prepared me for what these look like in my head i thought it was gonna be a waffle with chicken nuggets on it but no they are chicken nuggets dipped in batter and then made into a waffle in little pieces like a nugget and then you can choose maple syrup or hot honey because i like it a little spicy I got hot honey. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so fun. Like, this is fun food. Mm -hmm. What? Who thought of this? Get them a raise. Very, like, grabbable, like, walkable. Something quick to have while you're in between slides. Okay. 
Wait, wait, be careful. Ah. I don't even care. Nope. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. This might be my favorite thing on the ship. This has been so thrilling. But now we need to chill. Got to bring it down a couple notches. Next, we're going to Chill Island. In our fifth neighborhood, this is Central Park, an open air neighborhood so you can see the top of the ship, you can see the sky. There is 33,000 plants in this area. Like, so much plant life. We're headed to one of their many brand new bars, Lou's Jazz and Blues. Let's go. We have a B flat. It is gin, Sousa, and vermouth. It is a Negroni. I've never like had Sousa before, so I don't know what it tastes like. Mmm, it smells very floral. <gasps> it's like all of the plants outside just like into my drink. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. You ever been to like Pandora when you come out of like flights of passage, you get like this peppery smell. It's like all of the plants. That's what this drink tastes like, but in the, not in the nice way. It's really bitter and astringent on the end. The inside of my mouth feels like I licked something I was not supposed to. And I don't want to say that this drink is bad because it's not. I maybe just don't have a sophisticated enough palate to taste it. Julia, please. <laughs> What, is, what sound does B-flat make? Are we music people? <laughs> that sound. Oh. Am I near her bosom, near the mic? It tastes like when you bite a flower. Mm. <laughs> we are in the Royal Promenade, so this is another neighborhood. This is actually the central hub, and right now we're at Schooners, schooners, schooners bar. Julia, what is a schooner? It's a sailing ship that has two or more masts. Okay, so whenever we're on a cruise, there's always a bar that's themed after like sea time stuff. So schooner, it's a schooner bar. It makes sense, we're on a ship. This is a returning favorite. So this is one of the only locations we are going to that has been on another ship, but they don't just bring them back because they're fan favorites. They kind of change up the menu, uh, make it feel new and special to this particular ship. And I have the peanut butter tropics. 
it sounds like exactly what it is. It is peanut butter whiskey, pineapple, and a lemon. I don't know if those flavors go together in my brain. They don't. But I'm gonna see if I can, if it tastes good. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh. I like that. So it's nutty, creamy, but also like refreshing. So you get the pineapple, you get the lemon. It like cuts through the richness of the peanut butter. So I said it didn't make sense, but it does. I have my boyfriend with me and he loves peanut butter whiskey. So I'm gonna let him taste it and see how he likes it. Taste that. He said, that's an adventure I love. He, he fancied himself a, f a food reviewer as well. Um, I think we, we both would like this drink and order it over and over again. So I said before, this is the central hub. This is where all of the shops are. So let's go take a walk so I can show you what it is because it's beautiful over here. So in the Royal Promenade is a lot of different restaurants and bars. Right next to me, we have the heart of the icon, the beautiful, the pearl. She is the heart of the ship. She takes up three different decks. So the top of it is actually all the way up in the Central Park deck. Um, it's so cool, but it's just like inside we have all these geometric shapes that move around. The outside is shiny. She shines at night. She shines in the day. She's the pearl. She can't be explained. She just has to be experienced. We're in the Grove, which is a part of the Sweet neighborhood. It's an exclusive area that you can only come to if you have a suite. This is like their grab and go area for like this specific spot. Um, so they have like a little bit of a rotating menu. Sometimes it's a little bit different, but we kept seeing this watermelon feta salad and I had to try it. So it is watermelon feta, balsamic vinegar, and pepitas. Watermelon feta salad is always just like refreshing and yummy and I'm not. It's exactly what I thought it would be. The watermelon is fresh, juicy. You have feta on there. The pizzas give it a nice little crunch. So you get like sweet and like savory and crunchy and salty all in the same bite. And it's like the perfect portion size. So it's just like a little bite on the way, you know, to your next destination. Maybe you're getting in the hot tub. Maybe you're gonna go play a little basketball on one of the top decks. I don't know what you're gonna do. But you're gonna feel a little bit better. So we got another little bite from the Grove. Um, this one is the grilled shrimp and spinach salad. I just love the bowl, it's so cute. And two little cute shrimp. Um, if you're not new here, you know shrimp is my favorite meat. And yes, I consider it a meat. Don't at me. Let's get like a little bit of everything. There's a lot of onions in it. I don't like onions, but that, oh. This looks like, this shrimp looks like it is very much seasoned. It's a well seasoned girl. Oh, I like that a lot. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. So soft, tender, seasoned well, but not overly seasoned. Um, the vinaigrette that's on it is so yummy. And then I just had like a piece of orange with it. And so it's like, brings those fruity, fresh flavors that you want. And I love how like this whole area is just kind of like, it's a little upscale. It's a little, you know. It's for the sweets. It's for the very important customer. <laughs> so this neighborhood is exclusive. So you have your private pool. You have a private hot tub. It's very quiet as opposed to other parts of the ship. So like this neighborhood, it, fe it feels like you're getting something special. It's very zen, very VIP. I really want to stay in this neighborhood. This is the neighborhood I belong in. <laughs> but there's one more left. Let's go see our last spot. We are on our final neighborhood. This is the Aquadome. Now, we're not technically in the Aquadome yet. When you see it, it's beautiful. We are at Aquadome Market. It's a food hall. We're gonna try some things. Let's go. So this is the crepe station. So they're gonna make our crepe fresh and we're gonna get one that has like caramel and custard. It's gonna be good. Let's go.
is the salted caramel crepe. It has a custard cream inside of the crepe and then a toffee drizzle on top. Ready? Immediately, yes. And so like all of those little layers with the cream inside, it just like melts in your mouth and it's warm and it's cozy. I'm gonna feed you. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you like? Josie, review time. Oh. Birthday breakfast. Birthday breakfast? You know what? My birthday was uh, two weeks ago. Happy birthday to me. I've had something sweet. Now I need savory. And y'all know I'm a mac and cheese connoisseur. So follow me, Chelsea. Let's go get some mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. There's one, two, three, four, five different mac and cheeses for me to try. I, can you get a mac and cheese Neapolitan? This is the pepperoni pizza mac and cheese. So it is cavatappi noodles with pepperoni and mozzarella cheese. And then they asked me if I wanted any toppings and you could get more cheese. So of course I'm gonna get more cheese on my cheese. This tastes like you took a slice of pepperoni pizza, cut it up and put it in some really good mac and cheese. Like it's, it has like that good pepperoni pizza where like the pepperoni is really flavorful. It got a little zest to it, a little spice to it. The noodles are cooked perfectly. They're soft, it's warm. And like cavatappi noodles are my favorite. It's like a long macaroni, like a macaroni that just did like a little dance. Oh. Oh, so me sweet. next, me next. How, what no. do you think? That's, yeah. like, that's like six cocktails deep. Not. No, tonight, tonight we will be back after a drink or two or three or four. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, I need a drink now. I told you guys before, the Aqua Dome is beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see it. This is the beautiful sign. There's all this like watery art. It's actually where they do the diving show. And we got like a little preview of it the other day. And Dave was doing some amazing things in that water. Let's go. Ooh, oh, wait, even the, look at the ground. It's like a water slide. It's water. This is one of the coolest venues on the entire ship. The Aqua Dome, if you can imagine it right now, this is dry. Somehow, someway, water comes up from the floor. This whole thing becomes a pool. And then they do high dives all the way from the top. And it's amazing. And then they like fall into the water. And then there's sometimes somebody in the water and they grab them out of the water. And it's acrobatics, but diving at the same time with choreography and music and synchronized swimming. It's insane. Chelsea! We're going to Ryan Bean. This is a coffee bar. It's all alcoholic drinks and she's with coffee and tea and I'm ready for an espresso martini. See, they have coffee cocktails and tea cocktails and zero proof and while that is great, I will not be doing that. All right, so we have our espresso martini. I don't think I've ever had an espresso martini on the show. We're making history here. Okay, this one is made with vodka, Kahlua, coffee, and simple syrup. And they put a foam on top, and our bartender made sure to let me know that the foam is non-dairy, which is awesome. Let's try it. This particular espresso martini comes out of a tap. I have had it before at a different restaurant. It tastes identical. It's the same mix. It's an espresso martini, but a little bit sweeter than what you're used to. I think the little bit sweeter um, espresso martinis are really good like for a crowd pleaser. Like, it's not too bitter for some people who like more bitter coffee, but it's not too sweet for people who like don't like super sweet drinks. It's right in the middle. And then the foam on top is what sends it over. It's what makes it extra creamy. I feel like espresso martinis are like the perfect pre going out drink. You get your caffeine, you get a little boozy, and you're ready to go. I bullied Julia into adding 
another cocktail. Okay, so earlier I heard someone say something about a chai tea old fashioned. And I love chai tea and I love old fashioned. So I was like, Julia, please, I really, really want to get this drink. I got my chai tea old fashioned. It is chai tea, bourbon, and cardamom bitters. That's, oh, it smells so like warm and cinnamony and cardamony and like, I, you know, like chai tea has like all of those like mm, cozy spices. So this feels like a cozy drink, but it has a giant ice cube in it. So it's cold and I'm ready to sip it. Oh, okay. It takes you on a journey, right? Like a good cup of tea should. It's so immediately you just get old fashioned. Like you're like, oh, this is a regular old fashioned. Where's the chai tea? And then as you like breathe in and like sip, you get like all of the flavors of the chai tea like melding around in your mouth. It's such an experience. And if you like old fashioned, I definitely highly, highly recommend trying this if you are getting on this ship because it will change the way you think about old fashions and chai tea. So they put a whole like tea bag of chai tea in it. So I imagine that it's gonna steep you ever like squeeze your tea bag? I'm not gonna do that, but like I feel like I, I get more chai flavor if I squeeze. Squeezed? What is the past tense? Squeezed. Squeezed. What is squeezed? <laughs> I'm already gonna get 15 million comments talking about how I say es espresso instead of espresso, so I don't care if I says, say squeezed or squeezed. They're gonna talk about me no matter what. Aquadome Spritz, it's cocoa rum, rose, orange, with lime and a cream of coconut. I feel like it's gonna be like a tropical, fun, sailing away, this is the end type of drink. It, sm it smells very coconutty. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so good. You definitely get the Spritz, so like it's a lot of seltzer in it, it has like that sizzle, on your tongue, but it's also like creamy from the cream of coconut. It's like rich, but then you have like those bright flavors of like the rose and the lime and the orange bitters. It's a really delicious. And like, it's a good like toast, a toast to the end of our first episode of 2024 on the world's largest cruise ship. Like big ship, big endings. Not a big episode, but big food. I just wanna sit here with my drink and stare out the window at the sun. I don't want the sun to set. I don't want the episode to be over though. Leave me, Chelsea, go. I have to be alone with my drink and my feelings. No, Chelsea, don't leave me, come back. Come back. No, I, I wasn't finished yet. We can't say bye just yet. What an iconic way to end our first episode of Iconic Eats on the Icon of the Seas. Okay, I'm so happy we're back. It's a brand new season. We're gonna go so many places. I'm excited. I know you guys are excited. But until then, I will see you guys on another day at another park or cruise for another adventure. Bye! <laughs> I'm the loudest person in the whole Aquadome. I just echoed. <laughs>